This is lazy vegetarian cookery. How to make a vegetarian loaf. This is just some um, frozen vegetables. I'm going to thaw them now in the microwave. They're in the basin that the loaf, the vegetarian loaf, is going to be made in. You can use any vegetables you want. I'm going to thaw these ones and add a bit of corn to them too. Adding a little sweet corn now and I'll give it a little blast in the microwave to defrost those vegetables completely. Okay, we can add the spices now or later. We may as well add it now. There's paprika we'll be adding to taste, of course. We'll toss in some dried parsley flakes, parsley leaves, some uh, dried chive leaves, toss in some garlic granules. We'll be putting in uh, some black pepper and also we'll be putting a couple of uh, teaspoons of, um, well, about a couple of pinches or maybe half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of uh, veg vegetable stock powder. So that'll give it flavor, those things. That was sweet paprika, by the way, but you could add a bit of uh, paprika, hot paprika if you wanted. Stir the spices in well into your vegetables. As I said, you could do it later, but I'm doing it now, first of all. Toss in a few sesame seeds, if you like, just for a bit of flavor and vegetarian nutrition. That can be added to the mix as well. Stir those in. Stir it all in well. We're making a vegetarian loaf, a lazy vegetarian loaf, and it'll be made in the microwave. This is lazy vegetarian survival cooking done under primitive circumstances, but with access to a microwave oven. Okay, I've got two sheets of nori paper here, nori seaweed, and I'm going to uh, add them to the mixture. You can put them in dry if you like, or you can uh, wet them first. I'm going to wet them first. If you put them in dry, they'll have to absorb some water out of the mixture later on, but I'm going to uh, rip mine up and wet them first and then put them in. Okay, I've wet some seaweed here, and I'm going to add those small, wet, ripped, torn seaweed pieces to the mixture and stir it in. That's what I'm going to do now with wet fingers. So back in a sec. Okay, I'm stirring in the uh, wet nori paper. I could have ripped them up a bit finer. It depends on your taste, how small you want the pieces of nori paper. Anyway, they've already been pre-wet, so they won't have to absorb the moisture later. I'm going to add a bit of olive oil. Now you can use whatever vegetable oil you like. Notice I'm not giving any specific amounts of ingredients because I just made this recipe up by myself and uh, I just do it as I go along. So some olive oil to make it richer and to give, uh, well, some nice uh, vegetarian oil or fat. You can use vegetable oil if you like. Any vegetable oil you like. I'll now add a bit of shaking, a bit of, uh, not too much, a little bit of teriyaki now into the mixture. Whoops. You could add soy sauce if you like, just to give it a bit of flavor and extra protein. Stir the vegetable oil and the teriyaki in well with all the spices into our vegetables. We've got spiced vegetables now. Now we're going to add our uh, some some nuts, some nut meal. We're not going to use chopped nuts. We're going to use nut meal. We're going to use almond and or hazelnut meal. That's what we're going to do. Then we're going to add some breadcrumbs, and then we're going to add a bit of egg, uh, beaten egg and milk. This doesn't pretend to be a vegan cookery, it's vegetarian cookery. If you want to substitute something for the uh, beaten egg and milk, well, go right ahead. Okay, we're now adding generous quantities of some almond meal. And I'm get that some almond meal. Now let's add a bit of hazelnut meal as well. Oops, here we go. So we're making a vegetable and not loaf basically, hazelnut and almond. That's a nice amount. You decide how much you want in your vegetable pie. It's your pie after all, isn't it? We'll stir it in well. And after this, we've only got to add the breadcrumbs and some beaten egg and a bit of milk to uh, set it all together. And 
and we'll have to make a consistency that's conducive to a nice firm firmish pie mixture. Back in a sec. Okay, having stirred the almond uh, meal, almond nut meal, and the hazelnut meal, in, we're going to add some breadcrumbs now. Enough breadcrumbs to make a sort of fir firmish sort of sort of loaf. That's what we want to make. That looks about that's about right. I'll stir that in now. If I need a little bit more breadcrumbs, I'll add it later, but it should be right. I think I'll stir that in now. The mixture's well stirred now. I've just got a little bit of milk here in the bottom of a cup, and I'm going to beat two eggs into that, and then I'm going to mix the beaten eggs into the mixture, and I'm going to firm it down nicely, and I'm going to microwave it for 10 minutes, well, five minutes on high, and then another five minutes with a little tiny rest in between. I'm using two eggs here, but if you really wanted to, you could use three. I'm going to stir that in now. I'm going to stir that into the mixture well, and then bake it, as I said, in the microwave on high. Okay, now I'm going to stir in the beaten egg and milk mixture. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stir it in well, and then we're going to shape it down nicely into a nice flat pie, a bit like Wilma Flintstone, I suppose, with uh, fork marks around the edge, I suppose. We're going to stir this in well. It's going to have a nice consistency. We can add a few more breadcrumbs if we like. If it were actually too dry, you could add a tiny little bit of water. We're going to stir this well now using all the ingredients that you've just uh, put in yourself. We're going to make a nice firm pie and it will be, I'll pat it all nicely, I'll pat it all down nicely after I've stirred it up well and then we'll cook it. Okay, the vegetarian pie mixture here has all been stirred nicely and I've patted it down with a fork, it's nice and flat. It'll be cooked now for 10 minutes, about 10 minutes, 5 minutes, a tiny little rest and another 5 minutes on high in the microwave and what you've got can be eaten hot or served cold. It'll be very nice. I didn't uh, oil the dish or anything. It doesn't have to be oiled because it'll separate. Uh, it'll come up slightly apart away when it's finished cooking and it doesn't seem to stick to these plastics. So you can just cut yourself out a nice wedge as you like. It's just about done now. Into the microwave. Okay, into the microwave for five minutes on high and then another five minutes on high. Here we go. Blast it on high. Okay, it's halfway through now. We'll give it for another five minutes. And remember, we're not doing it covered. It's not a steam tent. We're cooking it uncovered so that it will form a firm crust or firm or crusty uh, texture. Another five minutes and it's done. So, quite an attractive and tasty little pie we've got here. Coloured vegetables and it's got uh, plenty of spices in it for flavour. And as I said, it does cut away quite well and it doesn't stick to the bottom if you're careful. It's a good little quick pie for lazy vegetarians like myself who uh, don't live in the most uh, commodious uh, accommodation. See you for now.